What's going on everyone? It's Kelly here. We got some kind of festival going on on the beach over there, but myself, Lauren, Jerome, oh, you almost made me fall off the boat. We got Glenn captaining the boat right now, and we're gonna go check out these shallow water spots near these rocks right here. The water actually isn't looking too bad considering the tide's going out right now. So hopefully we can find some crabs and lobster, maybe a few lionfish, you never know. So we're gonna go ahead check out the first spot and y'all are coming along with us. I'm too Florida for Jamaica, man. The water's still cold for me. Yeah. We just went diving this morning for a blue... it's supposed to be freezing warm. Freezing warm? <laughs> yeah. I like that. Glenn just said it's supposed to be freezing warm. So we just dove the beach for probably about two and a half hours for Blue Gabe's video and he is cooking this very interesting creature. If you guys don't know Blue Gabe, he's my boyfriend and also has a YouTube channel. Sorry, the sun is totally in my face right now and I already put away my sunglasses. But let's just say it wasn't a fish, it wasn't a crab, and it wasn't a lobster that we got out of the ocean. There's like a whole school of small barracudas right here. No oh, way. there you go. There's our fish of the day, barracuda. All right, I'm gonna gear up, get in the water, see y'all in there. Are the pole spears up there? He got two of them. He has two? Alright. I guess we're going in. Do you you want me to go back closer or are you guys good here? We're good. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. We might be overdoing it in our wetsuits, but hey, we just want to feel comfortable. <laughs> Water is super clear. Y'all, I get excited about clear water.
big southern ray. That's a big southern stingray. I'll rip you out. Right, don't worry. <laughs> All right, no rolling. fear. Not no going. fear. Jerome is here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
hurt. So this is a lionfish that I just shot about maybe four minutes ago in the video, I'm not sure. But we're back at our beautiful Airbnb. Look at our gorgeous view. Now this is kind of a rarity for us because normally when we come in from spearfishing, diving, anything out on the water, it's super dark. And it honestly sucks when it's dark and we have to film. But I'm thankful it's still daylight. We're gonna go ahead and fillet this little lionfish. Got my little fillet station right here, over here in Jamaica. Now we did shoot two more of these lionfish earlier this morning right off the beach as well as a mangrove snapper. However, I don't know where Gabe put them and I was going to fillet them too but I don't know where they are. So we're going to probably make a big bowl of ceviche with all of this fish. Now a lot of people when they clean lionfish they like to cut off the spines. If it makes you feel better, do it. If not, you can easily fillet it without removing the spines. Just got to be careful. I grab his fins like so and just prop them up just like any other fish, make your little slice. 
Now he is a pretty little lionfish, so it is kind of hard to flay, I'm not gonna lie. Come down his backbone. Now this lionfish wasn't exactly on ice, so his meat is a little bit soft, which makes it a little bit more tricky. Stick your thumb under there. And feel them pin bones with the tip of your knife. She's so... There's your little lionfish filet. Oh, I am getting eaten alive by ants right now. <gasps> Let's not do that. Yeah. So when you take the, the meat off the skin, you grab a little bit of meat right here with your fingers and keep that knife super flat against the table. Voila, and that right there is a nice chunk of ceviche. All right, you guys, really? so the sun went down and these are the crabs that myself and Lauren caught today, along with a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that we are also cooking. We have two females and one ginormous male crab. Now, one of the female crabs that we did catch, we did release because she did have a bunch of eggs on her. Um, and then these crabs in the bag, Trevor went ahead and brought us. That way we had more crab for everyone to eat. But right now, Trevor's gonna go ahead and clean up the crabs and cook them for us. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Oh, poor Boom Boom. Oh no. Oh. Blue Gabe has been messing with Boom you guys, Boom way too much. Yeah. Listen, y'all don't know. Me, Boom Boom, and Omar, and Nicholas, like we're the riot of Jamaica these days. Like we just, they had me in the trunk, guys. Let me show, let's show them real quick. Four Jamaicans with the white dude in the trunk for like a mile down the road wait, today. Wait, was this today? You haven't even heard this part of the what? story. When I'm in the trunk driving down the road because that's the only place for me to sit. Oh, <laughs> dang. Is that a big crab for oh. here? Oh yeah. That's a big male. Oh yeah. Dang. I tell you what, when I saw yeah, that male crab claw. Really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. This is Jody. She's absolutely Hi. wonderful. Thank you, Kelly. You You're are welcome. too. And Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, you guys did great. Let's start cracking. Start crack a lacking. Yo, Jace, what you got in your hand? Crab. What do you call those crabs in Jamaica? Sea crabs. Sea crabs. Yeah. I'm very curious how. Oh goodness. Going with the smack. Then. Oh, yeah. Dang. Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Those are the gills, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Those little feathery things in the crab, those are the gills. Pretty some, I mean, pretty much every single crab's the same, not gonna lie. This stuff out. Sushi. This is their puppy named Sushi. Hi, Sushi. Hello. Well, those are internal eggs. Yeah. They haven't put them out yet, so you don't yeah. have to worry about cutting them. All right. first time first time <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like he likes to break down the crab before we cook it so a lot of people just cook crabs whole but these crabs are so big that you almost have to break them down unless you have a massive pot and that way when they get done cooking everyone can just start eating Not gonna lie, last time I was in Jamaica and we were eating the mud crabs or the land crabs, some people call them blue crabs. Um, the legs were so hairy and we were like sucking the curry off the legs and it was kind of grossing me out, not gonna lie, feeling the hair on the legs in my mouth. So you're cleaning all the guts out. Mm -hmm. So we're. I don't get to rinse it out, and we're done. 
Okay, so we're getting rid of the gills, getting rid of the guts, and chopping it up, sticking it in a bowl. All the guts, mm -hmm. fish food, back in the water. That's where it is. Long. So I went ahead and stepped away from the cutting board a little bit because I know it's going to be super loud in the audio right now. After he cut in half all of the legs, he's taken a little hammer and just lightly cracking the legs. That way when the crab gets cooked, it's very easy to eat afterwards. You can just pull it apart with your fingers and just eat it immediately. A lot of times when we eat crab, after it's cooked, we got to take a spoon or the end of a butter knife and we're starting banging the crab to eat it. This way, everyone can just start digging in immediately. So while Trevor is finishing busting open all the crabs, we're gonna go ahead and get the kitchen ready and we'll get doing something in here. Do what? Do what? What do you do? Ooh, was that hot? Y'all, y'all don't even know what I'm doing in here. Oh. Oh. Y'all, this isn't even the big one, but you can't see. That'll be in the next episode of Blue Game. Hey, I got bad news. What? It's bad, babe. I was just outside minding my own business, and look at this crap. I catch one barracuda off the dock. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm in. Y'all, I'm just joking. Right here, oh, wow. this is Omar, one of my, literally one of my truest friends in Jamaica. <laughs> you didn't have to put them on so hey, tight. Hey, no, no, don't, don't take them off. Leave them on there. I can't do it out. You leave them hey, on there. you got any of these that are fluffy? Kelly's been asking if she can get a <laughs> Back to the crab. <laughs> so after you chop up all of the crab, you want to make sure you rinse them very well. Just like any other crab. All right, so the seasoning Trevor is putting in there is this, but it's the all-purpose seasoning. This seasoning, right here in Jamaica, oh my gosh, it's so good. We're gonna use some Lowry's garlic salt. In our pan over here, we just have some butter and garlic. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Beautiful. Oh. Y'all not gonna lie, we actually ate this last night and it was one of the best meals that we've ever eaten. Honestly, any crabs are just so good. So we're gonna go ahead and steam this crab for probably about how long? What do you think? About 20, 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes? Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna get the finger licking. <laughs> Boy, but can you smell that? Oh, I can smell it. It's gonna be so good. It's ready. Is this, this is probably oh, yeah. steaming. Mm -hmm. Put it, uh, where are we putting it? On the we table? Want, yeah, yeah, I already I got a rag that. ready. You pay a lot of money for this in the States, let me tell you. Oh. We're paying a lot of money for it here. <laughs> you know, this is true, this is true. Uh, this is what we came to Jamaica for right here. Mm. All right, so we gotta let it cool down before we can dig in. It wasn't for what we just did outside? I mean, that too. <laughs> Listen, y'all, Blue Game made me extremely happy about two minutes ago. And Ex I can't explain even Explain to the, what the blinking is so they know. Oh, so if you guys notice the light is a little blinky, it's because the LED lights, when filming in 4K, apparently it makes it a little flashy. Sorry about that, but we can't do anything about it. So we're gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna get to finger licking crabs. All right, y'all, we're looking a little rough. We've been diving, but check this out. All right, let's do it. Everybody dig in. Let's go for it. Oh, oh, this one. I want that one right there. Thank you. You went for that, like, king, that king size leg. I'm hungry. So here in Jamaica, they call these what we call channel crab, king crab, or spider crab. 
Now our spider crabs, what I call spider crab, they're in like deep, deep water and they're a lot more skinnier. Mm. So sweet. That's good. The one thing I noticed about this crab, it's very good. But the meat, it's not like you're biting into like a steak of crab meat. It's kind of, it falls apart a lot. More like grittier. Did you just say steak of crab like meat? a steak of crab a, meat. A chunk of crab meat. <laughs> well, I tried to describe it as a steak because say you take a snow crab leg at home in Florida and you bite into it. Right? You still have like a steaky piece left. But this one, it kind of like, it falls apart. If you're taking a bite, it like falls apart. That's what I'm trying to describe the texture as. What y'all think down there? Awesome. It's good. It's good. This it's little good. boy right here, well, he just had some land crabs or some mud crabs that we caught actually last time we were in Jamaica. He's over there. <laughs> Big shout out to the chef himself. The <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome, guys. It's awesome. awesome. So good. How are you liking, girl? Good. <laughs> Alright you guys, we are going to grub dig in. I'm officially ending this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Lauren's channel as well. She has some incredible videos coming out of Jamaica. And of course, Blue Gabe, who's helping me film behind the camera. Y'all, let me tell you something. We just did a Jamaican thing out there on the porch right now. <laughs> and I'm so proud of Blue Gabe. <laughs> but right now, this video I is caught ending. crawfish. Yeah, yeah, you, you crawfish. Oh, crawfish. <laughs> All right, this video is ending, guys. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a positive comment below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. See ya. Bye.